All right, y'all. The former leader of the Proud Boys, Enrique Tarrio. Oh my God, you guys, such a sad story. He was sentenced to 22 years in prison for fucking around and finding out. Now, uh, this was for the, his role in the January 6th attack on the nation's capital. Tario released the apo following apology. I will have to live with that shame and disappointment for the rest of my life. And added, the events of January 6th is something that should never be celebrated. Do you think 22 years is a fair sentence? And do you believe his apology? And don't you find it ironic that the darkest, brownest person in this entire situation got the longest prison sentence. Go ahead, Al. But you listen, think? the Afro-Latino, you know, America loves making an example out of us, and they do it every single time. And let me tell you what's so funny, Claudia. He wasn't even there. He wasn't even at the insurrection because a couple of days earlier, he burned a Black Lives Matter flag. They arrested him, and he was put out of the district. So allegedly, he, he coordinated all of this from a hotel in Virginia, I think, some hotel in Virginia. And he still, he wasn't even there, still got more time than anybody else who was actually implementing and doing the insurrection. And Q, before I, I'm going to ask you, Q, he got 22 years for kind of organizing it, but there is a bigger fish above him. Like, what does that say about Donald Trump, though, right? Q, what do you think about this and, and the brown dude? They said he tried to do white boy things with brown skin. Well, here's the funny thing. You know, Donald Trump was smart enough that dog whistling ain't a crime. Mm -hmm. Dog whistling is not a crime. And although we know that people like Donald Trump and Ron DeSantis are the ones who pump the lifeline and the blood and the oxygen and energy into these types of extremists, it's the people that actually carry out the plans that get in trouble. He's from Miami. This should have been a uh, what the Florida story. He's from Little Havana, Miami. And I got a different perspective on this, right? So first and foremost, I agree. He should do the time. People died, so on and so forth. I put this post on my Instagram, and a lot of people are upset with me. And all I'm asking is for five seconds, you get out of your feelings and out of your emotions and just follow me here. I put on my Instagram, I weep for the little Afro-Latino boy in him that grew up in a family, a system, and a world that sent him messaging that said he was not good enough, he'll never be good enough, he's not deserving. And in order to feel whole and feel like somebody, he ran over to this side. Now, you know, it's perplexing because you dark skin, by no stretch of the imagination are you a white boy with the tan. Anybody can look at you and tell at a minimum, you've got Latin blood in you, and at a not too far stretch of the imagination, you've got African blood in you. As an adult, perhaps you should have gotten help. People die, so you deserve all the time you got. But Claudia, for just two seconds, could you imagine being in elementary school through your adulthood and just hating yourself mm -hmm. for something that you can't control? Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's that gotta be tough. Um, but I'll never understand the complexities of the Latino community. The ones that have this like this inner turmoil with where they're supposed to be, right? Like mm -hmm. we all know, especially with Afro uh, Cuba, uh, Latinos, right? That have African blood in them. They 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 have color in them, right? And feeling like if they just go ahead and just like just side with the whites, that they're gonna somehow be accepted. It never works mm -hmm. out for y'all. Mm -hmm. It never, and they play on that. You can do all the insurrections. You can take play, pride, take place in their, their marches and be racist against black people. They'll be like, thanks, Vic. That's how they think of you. They yeah. still think of you like that. And that's not me using racial, that's what they think of you. They don't think you're white because you do this. They're like, sucker. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't think that when you aid the dominant- um, Culture. Culture. You don't think they they don't recognize that? Be like this guy over here. Mm -hmm. They see they they're not dumb. Yeah. They appreciate the help. Prosecutors uh, argued that Tario had a nine page strategic plan to storm government buildings in Washington D.C. on January sixth. And, oh. and the, 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 it's amazing that this is the hill that these Latinos, well, these people want to die on. Especially, and I know I'm going long. Especially that Latino community was the way Trump kicked off his campaign, was coming for y'all first, yeah. then the Muslims. And here's what's sad, Claudia, I live in Miami, all right? 
And firsthand, from the time I was in elementary school, I've seen people come over here, even Africans, even Jamaicans. This is not just like a Latino thing. Mm -hmm. And their attitudes is when I get to America, I want to assimilate and be anything other than black. That's true. That's that, and that is a global position that people have when they come to this country. They want to be anything other than black because the one thing they know for sure is that if you assimilate and associate with the black people, you're going to be treated a certain way. So if two percent of you can pass and get in the club, especially when you don't have any cultural history with American blacks then that's where they run to. And Al Sharpton says it best, just because you my color don't mean you my kind. And that's the prime example of what he was. He was our color, but he wasn't our kind. And that's why he felt so comfortable going over there, but he saw the real America. Catch. Yes, you did, Claudia. <laughs> okay, I mean, I, when will they learn though? Like, who has it worked out for? No one. No one. I, I, it, it really saddens me when I see other cultures, especially like Indians. You know, like how they have their whole caste system based on skin color, like the darker ones mm -hmm. are treated so poorly. And it's such a beautiful color to be. And the like, overwhelming majority of your country look like peanut butter. They're, they're the skin color of peanut butter. Right. I don't get it. I don't, I do not get it.